Hello, hello, and welcome back to The Home Bartender with Anne. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make watermelon simple syrup. I'm gonna get you prepared for any summer party that you might be having. I'll show you my favorite way to make uh, the simple syrup, and then on Friday, I'll make two cocktails using the same syrup. These cocktails are perfect for 4th of July, so stay tuned for that. So let's go through the ingredients and I'll show you how to make watermelon simple syrup coming up next. You really have two ways that you can make this syrup. You can add a cup of diced seedless watermelon and a quarter cup of water to a Nutribullet or a juicer, juice that and then strain it through a fine mesh strainer. Combine that with a quarter cup of um, simple syrup. So a quarter cup of the juice with a quarter cup of simple syrup and there you are, you're done. That's your watermelon simple syrup. It's easy to make and it turns out pretty good. But today I'm gonna show you an alternative way to make watermelon simple syrup. I feel like this method has a lot more natural watermelon flavor and I do like it better. It is a tiny bit more time consuming, but not a lot. So let me show you how to do it. You're gonna combine one cup of cubed seedless watermelon. I really cube these up small you're going to put a half a cup of sugar into a saucepan. And I'm gonna turn that saucepan on. And then I'm just gonna use a potato masher, a fork, a spatula, whatever you wanna to use to mash this up and get it all incorporated together. Then we're gonna bring this mixture to a simmer and let it go for about five minutes. Okay, it's been about five minutes. I keep mashing that and stirring it frequently to release as much of the liquid from the watermelon as I can. And then I'm gonna take a fine mesh strainer and another container here and get it into that. Okay, so now I have my watermelon pieces in my fine mesh strainer. I'm gonna take this spatula and just continue to mash as much of that juice out as I can. And then generally I actually leave it sitting and let that juice continue to drip out into the container. So I generally let this cool. I usually give it another mashing and then I get it into a bottle just like this, strain it into this bottle. Um, this yields about a half a cup to three quarters of a cup of syrup. Of course, you can double that recipe if you're making cocktails for a larger group of people. I generally make this syrup in advance of my party because as it sits in the refrigerator, it develops more watermelon flavor and it's really good. So that's how I make my watermelon simple syrup. And as I said, either method is gonna be great. You really can't go wrong with either one. But I do suggest that you make this syrup in advance because you will need it for the two cocktails that I will be making with you this Friday. So that's it for me today. Stay tuned for Friday's cocktails. See you then, be well.